dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are preparing for Christmas in the season of Advent, third day. Today again we are in the same topic, the unusual way in which God works and the way that we are seeing in the genealogy of Jesus, the presence of five women. The first three have, we have completed, we are on to the fourth, Bathsheba. Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, the victim of David and the mother of Solomon. A woman who was a victim, who did not do anything wrong, but wrong was done to her. She did not give up. She just stayed. She suffered, but she stayed. She trusted in the Lord. She continued. And you look, where is she now? In the lineage of Jesus. In, a, in the lineage where Jesus is born. But Sheba, she was a beautiful woman. She was desired by men. But her beauty and all those things, yes, made her victim. But later, she came out of all this and she stood by Solomon when he was king. She was there, the queen, the mother of the king. She stood there. The last days of David, she was there. And above all this, above all this, what is the most important thing is that instead of playing the victim card, making her victim card means using the wrong done to her as an excuse to continue in sin. And this is called victim card. Using the wrong done to you as an excuse to continue in sin. She came out of it and she continued in commitment to God. Uh, today, how many of us use victim card? When I was a child, so and so people did so and so things to me. That's why I'm like this. That was when you were a child. Yes, things were wrong. But now you are not a child. Yes, wrong things were done, but so many good things also happened with you. Christ opened up himself to you. He showed his gospel to you. The church welcomed you. The church enriches you with the Eucharist. All these good things. Are not these good things overpowering the wrong done to you? Yes, you may be born in a poor family. Yes, you may be a victim of casteism or any other thing. But all that is past. We are supposed to grow out of it and stand strong where God has placed us. Not brooding over the spoilt milk, brooding over the past, crying over what has happened. Is my scars much more greater than the wounds of Christ? My scars I have on my body because of the hurt that I have received in my past. But my scars are not greater than the wound of Christ. Than what he has done for me. And what he wants to do through me. So therefore, if you really want Christ to be born. Please do not escalate or magnify your wounds, your hurts. Come out of it. Surrender all of it to God. And you see how beautifully the God is going to use you. He is going to make you stand on high places. People will look up to you. All this will happen. Only if you turn your eyes from yourself to the Lord and towards the world, the Lord will show the world who He is through you. You are supposed to stand and face the world. And the Lord's face will shine on you. So this is what the Lord is speaking to us today. Bathsheba, another character. Unusual way in which God has worked a crucial juncture in the lineage of Jesus. 
because she is the mother of Solomon who built the first temple. Temple is the presence of God. And who built the first temple? The son of someone to whom wrong was done. She was not the wife of David. God doesn't see all that. She stood and the Lord understood and the Lord stood by her and today she is standing as a witness. Amen.